Once again, welcome to Oracle Database Administration, Competency 2, Chapter 8. Um, this is where we start getting into some of the meat of the process. And this is where the first part of being totally confused occurs. Uh, we are familiar with sys system and then the database you create. Now, under the database, you start building schemas. Now, in a, in a smaller environment, the name of the database and the name of the schema can be the same. But if you start talking about large organization, like a department store, you would have a database called Store 1. And you have a schema for the pharmacy, you have a schema for the automotive section, you have a schema for the grocery section, but they would still be subordinate to the, the door of the store. Now, once again, Oracle considers everything a consumer resource to be managed. Within this process, you also have to understand that you can have users. As far as, as an organization, there are usually five groups of users. Uh, there are the executives, the managers, the supervisors, the employees, and then the actual developers or the programmers. So you have one, two, three, four, five major categories that you have to work with. Now, these are going to be the major users. And then these are going to be the, the items, the modules, the schemas they will be using. So you have to develop a process to manage the schemas and the users. And the example is like in the pharmacy department. Uh, and in the grocery section and the pharmacy, aspirins are available. But the person that orders the aspirins for the, for the grocery cannot order the aspirins for the pharmacy. Conversely, the person that orders the aspirins for the pharmacy probably can order the aspirins for the grocery store. So you have this partition of profiles and security issues that you have to address. So what we're looking at here is system, I'm sorry, sys creates system. System will create the database. The database will create the schema. And within this process, you have the, the executives, the managers, the supervisors, the employees, and the developers that are going to be addressing the actual working within the database. So chapter 8 talks about user management and data loading. So we'll look at some of the tools that are used to load data. There are some command line issues where you type in the command and you pick a file and you load it. And those of you who built the, the who have built the database know about insert. Well, it's a modified insert process where you get a big file, you run it. You can also do some, there are some native Oracle programs that do data loading. There's some native Oracle programs that do data extraction. And then on top of that, there are some third-party GUI interfaces that you can use. Uh, there's uh, SQL Loader, and there's some other items that uh, will allow you to import and export data. So chapter 8 talks about user management and how you have these conceptual groups that are working with the data and how you have to develop a process to bring data in and take data out. And that concludes uh, chapter 8.